welcome to the course of uh, FRAX Flexible AC Transmitter Systems. In the last class, we discussed about various method of, methods of variable generations. In that, uh, we discussed about static wave generators, variable impedance type static wave generators. So, according to our syllabus, uh, we have in the TAC, that is the Tyrester Switch Capacitor. So, here, uh, the main aim of the Tyrester Switch Capacitor is generally it is connected in the shunt fashion to the uh, which is connected in shunt, in shunt with the power systems network trans of transmission line and the main function of the uh, these uh, variable impedance type static wave generators are uh, generally it uh, generates or absorbs the reactive power but here it is uh, dealing with the TSC tires to switch the capacitor uh, so the main function of this TSC is that it generates only reactive power whenever the reactive power generation is required from this end to the system then we need a tires to switch capacitor but the ultimate aim of the shunt capacitor is that it generates reactive power or it absorbs the reactive power. In some cases, by the help of the statcom, it can generate reactive power and absorb the reactive power as well as the real power exchange also possible in the statcom. So here, but the thing is that when in case of PST thyrus switched capacitor, we are uh, generating the reactive power. That means you are, uh, in, we are maintaining the capacitive current here. That means uh, we are generating the capacitive type of current. So this is the main diagram of uh, TSC per particular single pair, uh, per particular length of the uh, TSC. So this is the capacitor and this is the diastral valve. It is connected in anti-parallel fashion and uh, this is the one inductor. So here uh, the capacitor can be controlled with the help of this diastral valve. So the capacitor can be controlled with the help of the diastral valve and we the system voltage so for the power system the say uh, bus voltage the uh, bus voltage system voltage V and the current through this uh, transmission system is small i and the voltage across the capacitor is VC and the voltage across the switch uh, during the turn off condition like the uh, VSW some higher value and during the turn on condition this is zero and uh, this is on condition it is short therefore zero if it off condition it's having some voltage is present so this is the system voltage V and this is the current and this is the voltage across the inductor. So with the help of this thyristor we can control the capacitance. That means reactance of the capacitance. Uh, therefore, uh, I am saying that with the help of this thyristor we can indirectly control the impedance. That should is called a variable impedance type. Variable impedance type. But uh, this is the capacitor nature. Then we can say that it is called shunt connected. Therefore, it is called a variable impedance type. And so here the capacitor reactancy and the capacitor reactor currently one direction control just So here this is the system voltage. Let us say this sign uh, system voltage we are assuming that this is the bus voltage is assumed that sinusoidal voltage. And uh, uh, the main condition to turn on this VSC is so try AC and turn on over and compulsory capacitor rate. The on chase kuni process lo off chase kuni process lo discharge or charge or the process lo some residual voltage and the capacitor lo unthin ka varti residual voltage onna kudu voltage lead and kudu man sarin ga tire strong chase on kudu maybe man ke damage or chances on the ka varti okay so uh, residual voltage the property unthin ka varti or damage or uh, chances on the ka varti man ekad in yas nam inte uh, e it went to TSC, that is the TSC operation of transient free to get the transient free operation. Uh, in order to fulfill this transient free operation, uh, we have two conditions to get the transient free operation. Uh, here the system voltage V and the VC, the voltage across the capacitor. The value of the voltage across, suppose uh, under steady state condition, what is the uh, current through the capacitor? I of omega T is equal to here, I of omega T is equal to V into n square by n square minus 1 into omega c cos omega t for this circuit. I of omega t equal to V into n square by n square minus 1 into omega c cos omega t. In that V into n square by n square minus 1 is nothing but our voltage across the capacitor. This value only. And uh, here the n is nothing but here 1 by square root of omega square into lc. Where n is nothing but n by 1 by square root of 1 by square root of omega square into lc. Otherwise, the square root of xc by xl. Square root of xc by xl. Is it clear for n? Uh, where v is the system voltage, bus voltage, and vc is the voltage across the capacitor. For to get the transient free operation, uh, 
if V is to get the transient free operation generally uh, for V is less than or equal to Vc if V is less than or equal to Vc means V is less than Vc or V is equal to Vc uh, where the voltage across the switch is equal to 